Hey, this is Mike. I'm down at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out this 2015 Chevrolet Camaro. Now, this is the um, this is the LT1 in red, and uh, it has the 3.6 liter V6 with a six-speed automatic transmission, and uh, it just has a real aggressive, aggressively sporty look to it. Um, you know, of course, it's a two-door, which is, you know, so usually associated with sporty cars. But just the, the lines on it, the the way it's kind of got some hard lines and awesome curves. It's just a, it just stands out. Especially here in the front. You see the, the front center kind of slopes down and um, to a point. And also, to kind of accent everything, you can't really see during the day or anything, but... Um, or at least not right now it has a, like a partial halo around the headlight and it's like a projector headlight so you can um, have really high intensity headlights and also have that that halo there you also have the uh, projector fog lights as well you got the RS badge there Chevrolet badge and you've got a like a bulge there in the hood that kind of gives you the cool factor there and um, I mean it does have a V6 but I mean it's got plenty of pickup right here is a 20 inch aluminum wheels and they're kind of like a matte silver look to them they're not polished and too shiny too gaudy now they're sitting on a uh, Pirelli 20 inch tire P0 has the slim windows kind of looks like a chop top in a way and we'll kind of get into the the headroom on this car because a little bit because um, that was one of the complaints I had on the 2013 that I did a video on the headroom was just uh, I mean my t head was touching the ceiling touching the the interior there so I like, just sitting there so this one is, is better much better and um, I'm not sure maybe if the seats changed or the the roof um, now I'm noticing here that the top is kind of bulged out a little bit on the right above the passenger seats so I don't know if that's part of it or the seat or what but back here we've got dual exhaust uh, parking sensors and a um, kind of low-profile spoiler there So this one has remote start, but I'm not going to demo it. I have the windows down and stuff because it's a really nice day. But um, let me go ahead and push in and hold the trunk button. Pops it open. And it has kind of a small opening. But really when you look inside, it goes over pretty far there, that way and that way. And up there. And it appears that the, the seats fold down too in case you need more cargo space. See what the car looks like in the shade here. The way the sheet metal is kind of is, is is designed is kind of like all the the curves like have kind of sharp curves there even on the rearview mirror, and uh, and then you've got this really aggressive fender there. This is pretty much flat. Well, let's check out the inside. Here's the inside of the driver's door. It's a pretty long door, and that's pretty typical with two-door cars. And uh, you got a little pocket, little tiny pocket there. Speaker. And uh, there's your handle. That's all. I guess you can use that as a pocket as well. Here's your power windows. Um, one touch up and down. It's kind of, for the most part, pretty soft most everything is kind of soft not too soft though not like it's not a not a like a super luxury car I don't think but it's more I guess it's um, it's not too soft it's just got a little bit of give to it but anyways door locks uh, side mirror controls there 
got a little tweeter speaker here. Power seat, side airbags. And let's take a look back here in the back. And finding the place to lift up the seat. Oh, okay, it's electric, of course, power seat. Some of them have like a little lever. Yeah, here it is, all the way in the back center to kind of. Here's the back seats, very little leg room, which is pretty much to be expected in a Camaro. And I'm not seeing any cup holders or much convenient factor factors here in the back. I guess like a car seat or something would fit back there. So let me go ahead and put the seat back like that. Put the seat back. All right, hop again. Here's the steering wheel. I'm gonna have to start a petition or something like every sports car should have a flat bottom steering wheel. It looks so cool. But uh, I mean, this is still a cool steering wheel, but it does have, you know, it's black leather, uh, white stitched, little bumps there for grips. And it has a good, um, good feel to it, good quality feel. Cruise controls on that side. And then you've got your, your audio controls and your Bluetooth uh, phone controls. Now the, the key here, it doesn't have the flip out like some of the previous models. It looks just like a flip out, but and it even has a button. But nothing flipping out. It's just a key fob there. So here's the actual key. And you put it in and crank it up just like you would any other any other car without a push button. Now this one has the paddle shifters, which is a nice, cool thing to have. And um, here's the gauges. It goes up to 160 on the speedometer. That's pretty crazy. Not saying it won't do it, but I can't imagine one that would drive that fast. Um, 160 miles an hour. There's a there's a center. Uh, digital speedometer but th that digital speedometer is part of a menu system and uh, basically right here on this turn signal you can push this menu button and you can kind of kind of keep pushing it and go through uh, different menus and then once you go into a menu um, you can use this this but this thing here that turns and get different information and go to different settings now it's got a lap timer and uh, you know gives you your you know your basics information there I'm gonna push push the menu button again average vehicle speed average fuel economy uh, fuel range trip two, trip one vehicle speed so basically I mean there's a lot of stuff there in the the menu system that you can uh, you know a lot of information there but really the most relevant is your speed there This one does have automatic headlights, and there's your dimmer, dimmer switch, and the dashboard is uh, is pretty neat. It's not real soft to the touch or anything, but it looks good. And then you've got this kind of cloth accent here. It's like a flat black, and then you've got um, like a leather look here with some stitching, and it's pretty neat. Now down here you've got a pretty neat pocket. And it's, I like pockets that are out of the way, and this one's very out of the way. It just kind of gets out of the way. You've got your cup holders here, but this one's just kind of, you know, put stuff there and forget about it. So up here is your, your touch screen. So I'm going to hit hum, and it's going to go to all the different icons. Your radio, satellite radio, Pandora, um, AM, FM, your phone, USB. You can plug U, uh, USB devices in here, and then that way you can... Um, you know you can play you know songs off the USB drive hit next uh, this is where your auxiliary your Bluetooth um, settings there even as he's in, even has like a weather um, feature here it tells you what the weather is going to be or what it is now and not sure let's go to menu five day forecast there we go so we can see man look at that it has like little animations it's pretty cool 
the sun's shining and the rain is thundering and, and pouring. That's pretty neat. So let's get back out of that. That nearby ski conditions. There are no nearby ski conditions around here. So let's go back to home. And uh, movie, I guess that's movie listings and, and fuel. So you can check the fuel prices and the, 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 how close things are. Like say, find the nearest one. And uh, pretty cool. Go back there. Let's hit next. And pictures. I guess you can play, uh, view pictures on through the... Um, I'm assuming through the USB drive. It might possibly be the... Um, it might possibly be to where you can play it through like a Bluetooth, but I'm not really sure. So down here you got your climate controls, uh, your big knobs. First of all, there's little knobs here for your radio. Volume, and then there's your um, tune through the stations. And this is your temperature, hot or cold. Uh, air conditioning button, uh, defrosters, recirculate the air. Where you want the air to blow over here, and then how fast you want the air to blow. Got a really aggressive fan, it sounds like. So here's your shifter, just standard, you know, put it in put it in reverse, and then your backup camera pops up here. And um, you know, it's just pretty much a standard shifter. Put it as a drive and then it has a manual. So um, so I guess you put it in manual, you can use the paddle shifters or whatever. And uh, the backup camera is showing up right there, but you also have a little um, kind of uh, the, the graphic some of these cars and trucks and stuff the graphics are kind of like 80s edition but uh, this one's got the um, the backup sensors there kind of popping up there all right let's put it back in park here's your armrest opens up you've got a pocket there with a power supply Glove compartment, which is pretty good size. No padding or anything though, but it's a very good size. Rear view mirror. This is where you'll find your OnStar button, and uh, like a SOS emergency button, and also your voice recognition button there. You can talk to a uh, like an OnStar operator, I'm assuming. Up here, we've got uh, to where you can adjust where whether you want the lights to turn on with the door or just on automatically little itty bitty visors little tiny ones probably the smallest ones I've seen smaller even than the Tesla's it looks like so and this little thing opens up revealing a mirror and it has like a little place to put some papers there as well that's what it looks like yeah that thing there so you can put your registration in there or something same thing on that side, exact same thing, just the opposite. And it does kind of have a blind spot there that a lot of people tell me as far as when you're driving. So you got to really check your mirrors and, and uh, be careful with, um, you know, just be aware that you have a blind spot. I mean, most cars have a blind spot, but um, you just want to be aware of that one there. So. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the hood, see what's under there, which we know is a 3.6 liter V6, but let's just check it out and see what it looks like. All right. And of course, it has a big plastic cover over the engine. And uh, so we just get to see some plastic when we open up the hood. I mean, really, <laughs> I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I mean, is there a reason? Maybe you can let me know what there's the reason for that is. Maybe, I don't know. Is it a safety issue? Heat issue? Um, I'm not sure. But I, mean, I know the hoods have like a a thing there to stop fires but maybe that plastic is the I, I don't know maybe you can tell me because that does it just kind of irks me especially on a sports car you're like hey check out my cool engine oh it's just a piece of plastic but anyways 
All right, well, if you have any questions, um, I'll be, be glad to try to answer them for you. And if you have anything to add, if you own one of these and you, you know, you, you have anything to comment on them, just let me know in the comments. And I uh, appreciate you watching. And if you don't mind, if you can share my videos and try to help me out with other people, try to share them out with the world. Um, just want to mention, I'll probably make a more detailed video about this, but um, for those of you that lasted through this 15-minute uh, video, uh, I just want to mention if anybody, my, my videos are Creative Commons, and you can use my videos and voice over them in different languages, and uh, use them for any purpose you want. Um, so, you know, that's what the purpose of the the, the Creative Commons license is. So. Uh, you know, feel free to do that. You don't even have to tell me about it if you don't want to. I'd, I'd like to know, but, you know, just take my videos and do whatever you want with them, and I really appreciate it doing all this for you. So I really appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time.